Good morning world. Yes. This is not how I expected to start the day. We've got a flat tire, haven't we, Story? No. Yeah, it's gone really flat. This tire must have gone right down on our drive home yesterday. Yeah, it must have been dragging. It's okay, we've got a spare wheel. The whole village has come out to help me change a wheel. Luckily, I'm just by a little mechanic shop here. And Story's having a little talk with one of the local boys, Lance David Sky. I'm going to swap this wheel over and then I'll get a spare tyre later today. And everyone's so friendly. <laughs> so I've got one unmatching wheel right now. That's fine, it's a good thing we've got a spare. Oh my god, look how bad that tyre is. This thing's falling apart. Yeah, you ready to go? Say bye to your friends. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> All right, let's go, baby. Climb in, climb in. Legs forward. It takes a whole village, eh? But we got the wheel changed over to the spare. I could have done it myself, but I was so close to the tire shop, I thought might as well get them to do it. I gave them a little bit of money. They pumped up the other tire and I could just hear the air streaming out of it. I had no idea the inside got that bad. It must have happened on our last trip because I checked the tires periodically. Hey, Story. Yeah? Did you enjoy meeting Lance, that little boy? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Was he shy or was he outgoing? He was, he was shy. He was a bit shy, wasn't he? Did he speak to you? Yeah. What did he say? Oh no, he didn't speak to me. No. <laughs> he's a baby. <laughs> he's not a baby, he's your age, he's four years old. Yeah, but he doesn't really talk to me. Yeah, did you have a picture taken with him? Yeah. Okay, so originally we were going to Ate in Burgos to go and pick up a little present for Story. Now, I think, Story, we're still going to go, okay? Are you going to come with me to the sewing ladies? Yeah. All right, let's go. I need to get there before it closes. Seatbelts on, and let's go. Story actually asked me if she could go home and stay with mummy. So I am running errands all over the island by myself. I've driven from the north to the south today. I'm just heading into Dapa to visit a print shop, which is part of Sasha's present. It kind of helps that I'm on my own at the moment because Story has gotten to an age where when she sees something, she wants to talk about it. So if she sees any part of Sasha's present that I'm getting her for Christmas, my big surprise, then she will reveal something. I'm so close now, just a couple of days away. So I'm excited to be able to reveal this dream present for Sash without her being able to work out what it is. It is beautiful weather for a drive. Roads are a little bit wet, but there's some blue in the sky. Those beautiful mountains. Also, when I drive by myself, I turn off all the music sometimes so I can listen to the engine and just see how everything's performing. Before I came on this drive, I actually had to add a new spring to the carburetor because something was jamming in there and I feel like this car just needs a good old tune-up. But all the mechanics are off for Christmas, so I'm going to have to do it by myself. But all's well and good right now. First stop of my trip pick up a package. Two boxes now in the back. Now I need to find the print shop. I forgot to look up where it is. They've actually got quite a clever name. Let's see if they turn up on Google. They're called Prince Charming, as in the word print and charming. <laughs> I thought it was funny anyway. Yes, good man, you put yourself on Google. Take me there, technology. Let's see if the work is done. This is the store. They do all this work too. Okay, that's it. All done. It's quite a pretty looking street with all these colourful buildings. 
I've just noticed as well, I haven't seen this before, but there's a cafe here on the corner. Cafe editor. Maybe try that out one day. Okay, I've got the packages from JRS, the secret stickers for Sasha's present. Now what? Oh, now I'm gonna go to General Luna and make sure the present itself is done. I know it can be quite annoying when vloggers talk about something in the vlog that they don't show, but when I do show it, I think everyone is gonna be quite surprised that I got this for Sasha, but it is something that she has said that she's always wanted for a very long time. And it was a very specific request and I've never ever been able to do it before until now. So I'm gonna keep you in suspense for a few more days. <laughs> but if everything works out, it's gonna be fun. To General Luna. Okay, I just arrived in General Luna, right at the end of the working day, and the guys still haven't finished it yet. He says three o'clock tomorrow, so if it's not done by three o'clock tomorrow, I'm just gonna have to take it anyway. <laughs> Otherwise I have nothing to present at Christmas, which would be a bit of a nightmare. Check out this Toyota. <laughs> it's pretty slick. <laughs> that is a proper island ride. I've got one more mission before I head home. Got to pick up some red wine from Barna and maybe some sherry or some kind of other alcohol. And Sasha's mum sent us some money so we could buy some drinks. So thank you for that, Sue. I'm going to go and get something now, see what they've got in the store, and then head back to the family. This is Barna Supplies. This is the only place I can think of to get imported alcohols. Just spent about 25 minutes in there looking for stuff. I was actually hoping I could find something like a sherry or a port and now I feel like when we were living in Portugal and port was everywhere I was spoiled because to get port here is very hard. They have it on their list but they don't have it in often so I reckon if it was here it would be very expensive. Luckily when we were living in Portugal I felt like we made the most of drinking port. <laughs> I'll show you what I did get. Some medium dry red wine, Captain Morgan's spiced rum, and some gin that's made in the Philippines. I thought I'd try that out. Hello, I have not been in the vlog today. Jay has been main cameraman today on his little journeys out and about everywhere. So me and Story have been at home all afternoon. We actually were quite productive because I wrapped up all of Jay's Christmas presents for myself. Story helped me writing the tags and stuff. So we've been busy doing that. And also I made marzipan. First time ever making my own homemade marzipan to go on my Christmas cake. And oh my goodness, this box is smelling so nice. The cake is still looking really good in there. Look at that. And yes, look at this. Ignore the nibbles there, I couldn't resist. I love marzipan. And here we go, look at that. That is my homemade marzipan. It was so easy. So I made one block initially, and then I was a bit concerned that it wouldn't be enough. I'm sure it will be, but it was so easy to do, I just whizzed up another one as well and had a little nibble of it. <laughs> so what I plan to do tonight when Story's gone to bed, I'm actually going to put the marzipan on the cake. I read that ideally you should put the marzipan on the cake a day or two before you want to ice it so that the oils in the marzipan can dry out a little bit so it doesn't affect the icing when it goes on top. And what I plan to do with these little babies is do a double decker Christmas cake. So I'm going to put marzipan in the middle as well and on the top. And then hopefully I will ice it on Christmas Eve morning ready for Christmas Day. I've just put Story to bed. So before I do Jay and I's dinner, I'm gonna quickly put the marzipan on my cake so it is ready for icing in the morning. I just heated up some jam to go on the top. Now my nan always used to use apricot jam to put the marzipan on with, but because mine is a tropical fruit cake, I've used pineapple jam and it does actually have dried pineapple and mango in there anyway. Just cut out my first bit of marzipan to go on the cake. All right, let's slap this on. Okay, first bit on. Now, cake to go on the top. I think that will be all right, I don't know. Never done this before. <laughs> it's certainly smelling really nice. And you get to eat the little bits that fall off. <laughs> <laughs> There it is, there's my little fruit cake. 
I'm so excited with how it turned out. I was going to put marzipan all around the edge as well, but because I've got the layer in the middle, I don't think it's needed. So I'm going to leave it. Now back in the box until the morning, little cakey. So we just spent a bit of time researching how to turn this into mulled wine. So the recipe we're going to use is one whole orange, some cloves, some star anise, cinnamon and this bottle of wine and some sweetener like a maple syrup or a sugar. It should be good, shouldn't it? Mm, although I've never ever put sugar in a mulled wine, so mm. I don't think we need that. Yeah, it might be a bit weird actually. I don't re recall it being sweet. No. Also, this is a medium dry wine, so it might have a bit of sweetness in it. Mm. I'm just going to make now though some Christmas blend tea. This is mine and Story's favourite. Mm, it's so nice. It's yeah. like, I don't know, sticking your face in <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha also spent some time making these marzipan truffles. So it's the marzipan she made earlier with cacao powder, mm. right? Yeah, I just rolled them into little balls and rolled them in cacao powder. And I forgot to say how to make your own marzipan. It's so easy. It is just almond flour and icing sugar or powdered sugar, whichever you call it, and a little bit of water. That's it. It's amazing, isn't it? That is it, yeah. But if you have almond extracts or almond essence, put a little drop of that in as well and it will make it even better because yeah. I don't have that. And it's optional on the recipe. But I think if you did have that, it would be mind-blowing. <laughs> Noticeably more decadent, yes. I think. So that's it for the Christmas prep in today. Hope you enjoyed it and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.